Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. All right, so the next celebrity couple is going to be Nick Jonas and Priyanka Chopra. So I've had a few people request this and again, life in the fast lane on a Saturday evening. <laughs> so uh, I have some time so I figured I would do a reading on this couple. All right, so I already looked it up. He's a Virgo and she is a Cancer. So this man wants to look after his woman. He is struck by her. So uh, it's like to him, she embodies everything that he wants in a woman. It's like, I, I feel like he, he's, he feels like he's kind of hit the jackpot. Like, you know, she is warm and loving and sensual and beautiful and kind. And so he wants to put his woman up here so everybody can see her and he can look after her. This, to me, uh, there's no doubt here that these two love each other. And he, I want to say he loves her more than she loves him. And you always want a man to love you more than you love the man. So, uh, so I find that he really wants to look after this woman. I just, he wants to care for her. It's he wants to, um, even when it comes like obviously different cultures again, just like yesterday's reading that I did on um, uh, Ryan and Eva, two different cultures. But see, the difference with these two is that he wants to learn. It's like he soaks, he's soaking it up. He wants to learn everything there is about her culture. So where I'm going back to Ryan and Eva, it's more like he's like... Um, Ryan is uh, a little bit more clashing, where Ron, where um, Nick wants to know everything. He wants to be accepted into the family. He wants to know everything there is to know about the culture, her family, um, values. Uh, I just I just see him sitting around soaking it all up. You know how he can fit in and be a member of society when they I don't know where they're going to live or what they're going to do but I just I just get someone who really wants to learn a lot he does not want um how do you say it he 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 doesn't want to leave any doubt with his with her parents as to how much he loves this woman it's like if you want me to change religions I will do that. If you want me to change my lifestyle, I will do that. Anything for her. Anything. So I believe these two really have a strong life, strong past life connection. So I feel he's the take caretaker. He wants to look after her. And um, she loves it. She's And she's soaking it up. You know, she's really enjoying the fact that he's so into her that he's willing to to do what it takes to be welcomed by the family. Welcomed and what's the other word? Um, accepted by the family. He doesn't just want acceptance. He wants to be welcomed with open arms. So he is going to do whatever it takes uh, to have this. Now it's, uh, you know, it could also sound like it's a little bit superficial, like, um, uh, but it's not. Like I, I really feel that he genuinely wants to learn and know about everything there is to know about her, her family, the culture. So uh, he wants to accept every part of her. Uh, he's a good boy. He's a, he's a good guy. Um, I think he would do this for any woman, but I feel when he thinks about, uh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce her name, Chopra, oh, sorry, Priyanka. Sorry, I'm thinking about the last name. Priyanka, when he thinks about Priyanka, it's just, he just, I just feel like he beams. So I don't know if he's been in relationships before or anything like that. But I, I really, like, I smile when I think about him because he's really happy. He's really happy. And um, he's happy to look after her. I just keep thinking about the caretaker, caretaker, caretaker. He wants to look after her. He wants to be the caretaker. He wants to um, do whatever it takes to make her smile. Because he's smiling. And he's happy. So, all right. Um, to me, like, and... It's like, I, like you know, again, because I'm a clairsentient, 
I'm beaming. I feel like I just, I'm just happy always. You know, I don't know how long they've been going out for, but I really feel that this is like, I heard that this was a um, engagement that was pretty sudden as well. So I don't know if they just started dating or something like that, but he knew he is the one. So again, if you compare these two to someone like Justin and Haley, that I, I when I think about Justin and Haley, that is more of a, um, how do you say it? Um, that's, that's more of, um, that, that, uh, engagement is more of a, of a, uh, like, what is the word that I'm thinking of? Um, sudden, like it's, it's like, um, just was he wasn't thinking about it it was just oh what is the word that I'm thinking about I can't think about it anyhow um with these two it's like I want to marry her before somebody else grabs her I want her to be mine before you know with when it comes to Priyanka and uh Nick he just he wants her to be his because he just doesn't want anybody else to take her he wants he he wants he really truly wants to be with her and I'm not saying that Justin doesn't want to but uh, I wish that word would come to mind um with Justin and Haley, it was more of a not last minute. The word that I'm thinking about, I should, I'm drawing a blank, is um, is just he didn't think it through. What the hell? I'm losing my mind here. So he so um, uh, with Nick, he he just he wanted to do it. He 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 because he knows he loves this woman so much. He's excited. He's happy. He's he's uh, looking forward to all of whatever is going to come with her. Like again, oh, I'm I'm not going to stop until I get the word that I'm looking for. Um, it was um, ah, uh, uh, oh well, I'll drop it, and then I'll I'll come to it when the time comes. Um, all right. So let's just see. He's, I don't know where they met, but I mean, like, he just beams. Yeah, I really feel he really beams. Now, I'm just looking at one story here. Hold on. Um, explains why he believes fiancé Priyanka Chopra. Uh, so many things. He can go into all of it and get all mushy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a very strong past life connection with the two of them. So I don't know where they met or any of that stuff, but he truly is head over heels with this woman and wants to snag this woman before anybody else, anybody else does. All right. Priyanka. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Yanka and Nick. All right. And she loves him back. She really loves him back. She, she just, um, she just loves him. Very happily. These two are very happily in love. All right. What do we need? What are the messages regarding Nick and Priyanka? Nick and Priyanka. Nick and Priyanka. What are the messages regarding Nick and Priyanka? Nick and Priyanka. Nick and Priyanka. Nick and Priyanka. regarding Nick and Priyanka. Okay, so we've got the Hermit card here. So this is about learning. All right, there's a lot of learning here to for both of them, especially for him. And this is tr somebody trying to get wiser. Okay, I'm just going to grab the book. Sorry guys, I should have had this ready. 
All right, so let's see what the hermit says. That's number nine. All right, it's about this card is about self knowledge. All right. So um, he carries a light representing his mind and the knowledge he has acquired and a staff symbolizing the power of his will. All right. Is, this is of self-knowledge. It is time for you to withdraw, contemplate what you know, and make sure your beliefs reflect the leading of your own heart. Now you must learn what you, who you are and what you believe. Then you can trust yourself without depending on the opinions of others. All right. Okay. So this is about him learning. Okay, he, he's just soaking it all in when it comes to learning about her and the family and all of that stuff. Then we have the six of car, uh, the six of wands. This card speaks about victory. All right. So this is about recognition, victory, good news. You know, this is someone who just really feels victorious. They both feel victorious when it comes to this relationship. All right. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is about um, our, this is a resourceful woman. All right. She's got domestic skills. She, this is about fertility. I don't know if they want to start a family as soon as they get married or even if there was a date set. Okay. So the Queen of Wands talks about, all right, your passion is quietly contained, ready to burst out at any minute. You are seeking an outlet for your energy. This may be in the form of a new project of your own, own or helping someone with an exciting undertaking. You love activity for its own sake, and you are not adverse to public admiration as a result of your skills and brilliant personality. So this is between the two of them, okay? So I asked the message regarding them. So when it comes to the message, is that it's about passion is quietly contained, ready to burst at any minute, all right? I feel like they're ready to burst with love, passion, excitement, you know, uh, for the future, you know, the two of them being together, getting married. Uh, I feel like these are happy events for the two of them. All right. Okay. Let's see what Nick feels for uh, Priyanka. What does Nick feel for Priyanka? What does Nick feel for Priyanka? Whoa. What does Nick feel for Priyanka? Impulsive. That's the word one that I was trying to think of when it came to Justin and um, uh, Haley. That was an impulsive move, right? So I knew it'd come to me. <laughs> All right, what does Nick feel for Priyanka? All right, so here's the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is about the new romance. It's about inspiration. It's new beginning. It's, it's wanting to create something. You can see buds here that are are growing from this staff. So that's what this card here is about, is that he feels like he can grow something with her. It's that it's romantic love. It's a new romance. All right, the High Priestess. What does he feel for Priyanka? The high priest is of, it's knowing something and you're not sure why you're doing it. It's just a knowing. It's your intuition. He's following his intuition. All right. And um, uh, this is also about, um, uh, it could also be about um, uh, not sharing things with people. Like the, the high priestess is about secrets, mystery, intuition, trusting yourself. So he has this intuition here when it comes to her and there's just a knowing and he's not going to question it. What does he feel for Priyanka? This is the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is usually a Sagittarius, Aries or Leo woman. She's a Cancer lady. But what does he feel for her? This he feels she's feisty, self-assured, confident. This woman is passionate. He sees all of this in her. Okay. What does Priyanka feel for Nick? What does Priyanka feel for Nick? What does Priyanka feel for Nick? 
what does Priyanka feel for Nick? What does Priyanka feel for Nick? What does Priyanka feel for Nick? Okay, what does Priyanka feel for Nick? There's the Ten of Cups. All right, marriage with children, family, love, and support. I feel they have it all. They have support from outside family, like extended family. You can see here's the house on the hill. We have the children, the happy couple, the water, the emotions that run, you know, through this card. They have it. All right, and then we have the Six of, of Cups. Six of Cups is about um, giving and receiving. It's generosity. You can see the way scales here are balanced. It's a very balanced relationship between the two of them. All right, and then we have temperance. Uh, so what does she feel for him? There's temperance here. All right, temperance is about balance, harmony, self-control, moderation. So he's jumping in more than her, but she's a little bit more balanced when it comes to the situation all right so um she's she's keeping everything in check all right even though she does love him okay all right let's see what we can expect the next three months what are the messages for nick and priyanka for the next three months nick and priyanka next three months nick and priyanka next three months Nick and Priyanka next three months. Nick and Priyanka next three months. Nick and Priyanka. Nick and Priyanka next three months. Nick and Priyanka. All right. There he is. He's going to keep nurturing this relationship, the King of Cups. Even though he's a Virgo, he's going to still... This King of Cups represents a great father, a husband, someone who's tolerant, empathetic. So he's going to be that great father and husband for her. Very empathetic. What like When I think about Nick, thinking about Priyanka, I feel like this. It's this guy saying, what can I do for you, my love? How can I make your day better? He, he, he really truly does love this woman. All right. Then we have the Ten of Wands. Um, there could be a lot of stress and exhaustion. Lots of responsibilities coming up. Or maybe there could even be doing the, going through this right now. But it's the end of that cycle. I don't know if they work away from each other or both of them are working. But I really, this, this card is saying that um, they might have just a lot of stress right now. A lot of exhaustion. But it, it, tens are endings, aces are beginnings. All right, and then we have the magician. And what can we expect? What can we expect the next three months? They have all the tools they need um, to um, turn their visions into reality. You can see on this. I feel like I'm always teaching you guys something. You can see on this table you have the four um, symbols of the tarot. You have the cup, the coin, the pentacle the sword and the wand and unlimited power. There's the, the infinity sign, right? So these two have all the tools that it takes to turn their visions into reality, to manifest what they want, especially him. Okay. Okay. So there you go. There's Nick, Jonas and Priyanka Chopra. And uh, so that is the reading for them. Um, thank you for watching. I really like doing these videos for you guys. Again, I do do personal readings as well. If you're interested in a private reading, email me and I will send you the information on how to get a private reading. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Subscribe. Every time you subscribe, you will um, uh, know when I put out a new video. All right. Thanks again. Okay. I hope you enjoy the video. Bye-bye.